On this day in 1870, Robert Abbott was born in Southeast Georgia to formerly enslaved parents with a, version, a vision to defend African Americans who had been uh, disenfranchised, much like his f mother and father, he prioritized education. Abbott studied printing at Hampton Institute and went on to obtain his law degree from Kent College. But after several unsuccessful attempts to establish law offices in multiple cities across the Midwest and struggles due to racial prejudice to support himself as a lawyer, Abbott conceived of a new way he could defend black people, not in the courtroom, but in the newsroom. In 1905, with an investment of just 25 cents, Abbott founded the Chicago Defender. The launch saw a meager press run of 300 copies, which Abbott himself would deliver door to door. But the outlet quickly evolved into a pivotal resource for black America. It aided in the Great Migration by printing articles about the benefits of moving away from the South. The Defender also covered important events like the Red Summer Riots. Abbott used creative tactics to extend his paper's reach, like creating a distribution network with black train porters. Because of Abbott's strategy and the content of the paper, by 1916, the Defender's circulation reached 50,000. By 1918, 125,000, and over 200,000 by the mid-1920s. Success of the Defender made Abbott one of the first self-made black millionaires. Abbott would pass away in 1940, leaving control of the paper to his nephew. The Defender has since transitioned to a digital platform, but continues to serve the black community. And in 2014, it was recognized as the second most widely read African-American newspaper by a Nielsen survey. So today, we celebrate the contributions of Robert Abbott, and the Chicago Defender. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime and have a happy and safe holiday.